folks I've got my sleeping breathing pets with me today because I have got new addition which I'm going to unbox so on previous videos I've unboxed these other perfect pets or precious pets as they change the name so we've got the dash hound here which i was really pleased with we've got the labrador pup which was the very first perfect pets that i got and this one actually has an on off switch that we put in ourselves because funny enough none of these come with an on off switch so we made that modification all you have to do is just leave the battery cover off unless you modify them and put a switch in yourself so this pug here which i um, i think was the last one i got we just pop the battery out when we want to switch it off and i've got the cat at the front here that i got that i was the only one that i was disappointed with because of the markings i didn't think the markings looked like the box this is the picture on the box and this is the cat that I got, so I was a bit disappointed with that one. And today I've got another cat to unbox. It's a black and white short-haired cat. And this one hasn't actually got markings. It's just kind of like got main splodges of colour. So hopefully um, this one will look better and more realistic. So all my previous perfect pets i bought new but this one i spotted on ebay and it still had the box that it comes in and the bed i'm not sure if this one comes with um a brush some of them do some of them don't um but it said that it was very good condition so i thought i'll give that a try so without further ado let's get this new edition out of the box And there's the kitty cat. This one hasn't come with a brush, which kind of makes sense because it's got a green bed. And the two that I've got so far with a green bed didn't come with a brush. And the two that I got with a blue bed did come with a brush. So it seems like if you get the green bed, you don't get the brush. I'll have to unscrew this and put a battery in to try it out perfect pets when you get them new you have a tag that you pull out to start them but this is second hand so obviously it's already been started it does look in really good condition and it's quite cute got little pink paw pads if we look at it against the ginger tabby it's the same size it's, it's like the same mould it's exactly the same it's just the fur that's different but whereas the ginger tabby does have that really un unrealistic pattern this one looks a lot nicer notice something that um i didn't notice before is unfortunately this one's missing the collar i didn't notice that when i looked at the pictures when i bought it but if you're buying one of these second hand that's something to check as it's still got its collar so this one hasn't apart from that though i would say i like the black and white one better simply because if you just glance at it you could be fooled whereas the tabby one you would never be fooled because it's just too unrealistic the pattern on it so let's get a battery and see if this little kitty works unfortunately we've taken the battery door and the battery has been left inside and it has corroded which uh, is a big disappointment but you can sort that out Paul. i'm sure we'll be able to fix it yeah i think uh, one of the reasons it's probably corroded is, is that as we said before there's no on off switch yeah yeah these perfect so pets. i suppose that's another risk if you buy one second hand yeah Will people really unscrew the uh, cover to take the battery out? To take out? the battery out. Mm. 
Okay, so we'll take the battery out and we'll see what the okay. damage is. Okay. We've been really lucky, folks, in that there's no damage there at all. I mean, it would only be a matter of time, and it would it would damage it, wouldn't it? I think so because this is the battery, and it's uh, it's it pretty, is leaking. It's pretty manky. We've mm. been fortunate there that it's not got to the uh, terminals. You know. Yeah. Good. So, let's pop this non-corroded battery in and see if our kitty is still working okay. Yes, she is. She's uh, she's breathing nicely. Interestingly, this one's quieter than the Labrador I've got, and it almost sounds like a purr. That just seems accidental, doesn't it, Paul? It seems like pot luck. Yeah. How it sounds, if it's noisy, if it sounds like a snore or a purr, or if it just sounds mechanical. It seems just pot luck. I think so, yeah. This is the Labrador's mechanism is quite noisy. Well, the kitten is much quieter and almost sounds like a purr, so that's nice. So overall, I would say I'm pleased with this kitty. Yes, it's a disappointment that it didn't have its collar. And that was a bit of a shock when I saw that the battery had corroded. But the battery compartment was undamaged, so no harm there. Love the breathing mechanism on this one. And I do prefer the colouring and the markings. But a word of warning, folks. If you do decide to buy one of these second hand, make sure that the seller has a picture of the inside of the battery compartment in case it has corroded so just to make sure that it's okay I would ask the buyer to show a picture of the battery compartment if they don't already and check that the pet has still got its collar as obviously sometimes those must become mislaid and I guess you've always got the risk that the breathing ne mechanism might not be working because obviously the person who had sold this one hadn't checked if it was working because it had that corroded battery in it. So just a few things to bear in mind, folks, if you decide to buy one second hand. But I do like this kitty. I'm pleased I bought this kitty and I think it looks nicer than the tabby one so that about wraps up this unboxing folks and i'll join you in the very near future with more perfect pets but for now thanks for watching as always and see you next time